Read the poem, then answer the questions that follow. The Song of Wandering Angus. The Song of Wandering Angus from the poetical works of William B. Yeats. I went out to the hazel wood because a fire was in my head and cut and peeled a hazel wand and hooked a berry to a thread. And when white moths were on the wing and moth-like stars were flickering out, I dropped the berry in a stream and caught a little silver trout. When I had laid it on the floor, I went to blow the fire aflame. But something rustled on the floor, and someone called me by my name. It had become a glimmering girl with apple blossom in her hair, who called me by my name and ran and faded through the brightening air. Though I am old with wandering through hollow lands and hilly lands, I will find out where she has gone and kiss her lips and take her hands and walk among long dappled grass and pluck till time and times are done the silver apples of the moon the golden apples of the sun angus god of love in celtic mythology number one which line in the first stanza of the poem suggests that the speaker was alive with new ideas a i went out to the hazel wood b because a fire was in my head c and moth-like stars were flickering out D. I dropped the berry in a stream. Number two. Read these lines from the poem. It had become a glimmering girl with apple blossom in her hair. The word glimmering in these lines most closely means A. Dancing. B. Thrilling. C. Sparkling. D. Whispering. Number three. In the third stanza of the poem, what quest does the speaker undertake? A. To return home and recapture his youth. B, to return to the hazel wood. C, to find the glimmering girl once again. D, to go to the stream where he caught the silver trout. Number four, what theme does Yeats reveal through his poem? A, be careful when you try new experiences. B, some things are worth searching for. C, love is more important than wealth. D, sharing is the best way to show affection. Number five, How does Yeats develop the theme in the poem? A, by telling about the speaker's history of seeing things that are not real and then expressing sadness that the speaker cannot see reality. B, by contrasting the happiness the speaker feels in the beginning while he is fishing with the anger he feels after becoming an old man who no longer fishes. C, by explaining the steps the speaker took to catch the trout and then describing the process it took to transform into a mysterious creature. D, by describing the speaker's fateful meeting with a mysterious creature and then explaining his plans to continue to look for the creature. Number six, what is the importance of the poem structure in three stanzas? A, each stanza shows the speaker fishing in a different setting. B, each stanza shows a different scene from the speaker's life. C, each stanza has a different meter and rhyme scheme. D, Each stanza tells a different myth about Angus, the god of love. Number seven, which of the following is the best summary of the poem? A, an old man wanders in search of a beautiful girl. The girl had transformed from a fish he caught many years ago. B, an old man wanders in search of a beautiful girl. He met the girl during a fishing trip many years ago. C, an old man wanders the land and fishes in every stream. He wants to catch a fish as beautiful as the first fish he ever caught. D. An old man wanders to a stream and makes a fishing rod out of a branch. He tries to catch a fish called the Glimmering Girl.